Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a bookish unboxing for you and it's a little bit of a different one. I know you guys are used to Illumicrate and Alcrate and all those awesome bookish boxes. I know I've done Book of the Month Club, but this is a little bit different. This is a box I randomly stumbled on on my Instagram, but it is the Fox and Wit Booktionary Box. Now this is a bookish stationary box and what makes it a little bit different than some of these other bookish boxes is that it is bookish related stationary. And um, last month they did Sarah J Mass. This is the August box and this month's theme is Lainey Taylor. So whereas a lot of these other boxes feature books in the box, this is like bookish related goodies and bookish related stationary, no book in the box. And a lot of these bookish boxes are expensive. They run about $30 and up, and this is no different. This box cost me $29.99 plus shipping. If you're interested in getting this box, I believe they are still available for August. So I will put links in the description below for you. And then the September theme is Outlander. So for all you Outlander fans, definitely make sure you sign up. You can also purchase that box on their website as well. So I will go ahead and get this box open. When you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. So let's see what kind of goodies we have. Ooh, okay. This looks like a Strange the Dreamer inspired like coloring print. It is packaged in plastic wrap on some really nice like card stock. So uh, nothing on the back. Oh, let's see. Okay, so it says in here, I just noticed that there's some text. Fell in love, did not end well. Once upon a time, an angel and a devil. Yes, and uh, that describes Lainey Taylor's books perfectly. In fact, this might be a line from, I think this is Strange the Dreamer, but there was a similar line in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. So she does that whole Romeo and Juliet s angels and devils and men and monsters and it's it's phenomenal i love it so that was our first item box and wit that is her card so caitlin nickel has designed the exclusive coloring page just for you so that's pretty awesome next item i would share my chocolate cake with you so this is from the daughter of smoke and bone series this is a card and let me just take it out of the plastic wrap here and it's really nicely done. Um, this is uh, Zuzana from the Daughter of Smoke and Bones series, Karu's best friend. See, blank inside. She was in love with chocolate cake, and so it was a big compliment when she says she will share her chocolate cake with you. And I like the, uh, the brim envelope. So that's a really nice card, and I love the reference. Next up, September theme is Outlander. This looks like spoiler card so that's cool they have a lot of contributors in this box so this is a print of Sarai from Strange the Dreamer she's one of the two narrators of the book beautifully done so I really like that a lot and then we have what looks to be a bookmark it says once upon a time an angel and a devil pressed their hands to their hearts and started the apocalypse this is also from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. You can see that, very nicely done. And it looks like it's been laminated, so that won't get ruined. We have a notepad. Huh. Good minions are hard to find. Another quote from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. I love notebooks and the cool thing about this is that there is a magnet on the back so if you want to hang it to like your fridge or if you want to put it up on like a whiteboard you can do that and it's pretty wide and everything is really nicely wrapped up and packaged. I dig that a lot and like I said there's a lot of space so you can write some stuff down and take some notes. We have a pin. Uh, Fox and Wit, they just don't do stationery. They also do some awesome bookish pins, and I've seen this on their website. It's, <laughs> I like banned books, and I cannot lie. And it looks like a little stack of books. So that is pretty awesome. And I really like pins, enamel pins, so this is really nicely, nicely done. And then it looks like there's only one more item left in this box. 
and it is a chapstick. Awesome. So it is called Weep. This is a Strange the Dreamer themed chapstick. And it is Waterfalls, Forest, Honey, and Blood Candy. All natural handmade lip balm. Behind the Pages. So you can find them at BehindThePagesStore.com or on the Instagram at BehindThePagesStore. So we have our lip balm here. Let's see, it says Weep. Good, I'm kind of, oh, it's blue. It kind of smells like like a fresh rain fragrance that you would get in like a candle. Let's see, it is blue wax. It goes on fairly sheer. It smells good. It's an odd smell for a, a lip balm. But it feels nice like beeswax. So if you like like Burt's Bees lip balms, this is kind of that feeling without the tingle. And that is, aside from all the confetti, everything in the box, check this card out, meet our vendors. The Outlander theme card, which is this, so if you're into Outlander, you can keep this card and frame it if you want. So this theme card and the Lainey Taylor coloring page, these are designed and illustrated by Kaylin Nickel. And then we have our Sarai art print. This is designed and illustrated by Laza. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, you can find her work at Laza Blackbird. And Caitlin Nickel, you can find her work at Caitlin Nickel 89. Weep and Strange Chapsticks. Each box received one of two exclusive chapsticks created by Gina. You can find her at Behind the Page Store. And we got Weep instead of Strange. So I like that they did some variations for this box. That's really neat. And everything else, all of the other items, were made by Mary from Fox and Wit. So you can talk to her about books, get exclusive sneak peeks, and occasional discounts at Fox and Wit. So there's all of that information. If you guys want to check out any of these artists in stores, I like the fact that she uses other artists um, in addition to her own products. So we have the Fox and Wit coloring card. We have the Fox and Wit enamel pin. We have the Lanny Taylor Daughter of Smoke and Bone I Would Share My Cake With You card. Our Daughter of Smoke and Bone bookmark. And our Good Minions, our hard to find Daughter of Smoke and Bone notepad. So all in all, if you are looking for like books and some other like candles and stuff, I think that this box Feature some of that stuff just without the books. So if you like stationery and prints and stuff like that, I think that this is a really cool option. Again, I like the fact that Fox and Wit, they use sustainable sources and recycled materials. So that is something that is important to me as a consumer. And I think that also adds to the cost of this box. I like how everything is sort of very artsy and very Etsy-esque. So if you're an Etsy fan and a young adult book fan, I think that this is a really cool box. I like that there are variations and again that she uses other artists um, and includes things that aren't just stationary, things like a pin and um, a chapstick and coloring prints and stuff like that. So I think that this is really cool and again I like the stationary stuff. The coloring print is just kind of, it's beautiful. I just am not, I like the idea of coloring, I just don't actually do it. Um, but I like this stuff and again in terms of the price, it is pricey. A lot of these bookish boxes are. Do I think that it's worth it? I mean if you were to pay for this stuff individually on Etsy, I think you would be paying over the $30 that you spent anyway. Now shipping was a little expensive, I will say that. So do you get your value? If you like this type of stuff, this SDS stuff, yeah, I think you do. And I would say that value, I think, is in the eye of the beholder. So if you like the items that you got and you really like the Etsy curation style of the stuff that you got in the box, then yeah, I do think that it's worth it. If you're not so into this kind of stuff, then I, I don't think that this is a good box for you. Um, and I wouldn't recommend it on that regard. But I'm pretty happy with it and I like all the obscure references. I like the fact that I got a card, that I got a notebook, that I got a pin and some chapstick and a coloring print and uh, a regular print and a bookmark. Like 
none there were no two of the same items so I like the variety and again I'm a huge Lainey Taylor fan and it's nice to see a variety of her work represented in these items so I dig this box I don't know I probably won't order the Outlander because I have not read nor watched Outlander and I'm not really a fan but if you are then maybe you want to check it out um, and again make sure you follow her on Instagram and if you got this box or any of her other boxes make sure you take a photo of your loot and then she can repost and maybe you'll win a free box so make sure you check it out that was the Fox and Wit Booktionary box what was your favorite item do you guys like the theme do you like the Etsy style curation uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always thank you so much for watching and if you like this video go ahead and click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.